As Justice Morris Energy's tenure in acting capacity elapsed on Wednesday, the Nigerian Judicial Council is insisting that the most senior judge in the person of Justice Ipeme be nominated and accordingly appointed. Will the governor of Cross River State, Ben Ayade, hit the call? Joining us to discuss this and other issues are Ben Adoniga, public interest lawyer and Mbaukeni SAN. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. My pleasure to be here. Okay. Uh, let's start with uh, Barrister uh, Bernard Oniga, the public interest lawyer. Give us a short and precise background of the situation in Crash River, and that's with respect to the appointment of a substantive chief judge. Okay. So the tenure of Justice Michael Edem, the now retired former chief justice of, of chief judge of Crash River State, I mean to say, um, ended on the 29th of November 2019. The governor of Cross River State, Professor Ben Ayade, went on to appoint the most senior judge, which is Justice Ikon um, Ikpeme, Akon Ikpeme, I mean to say, as in acting capacity. Um, Section 271 of the Constitution provides that the, a chief judge of the state will be appointed by the governor based on the recommendation of the NJC, and that um, appointment will be confirmed by the State House of Assembly. The NJC went ahead to follow all necessary and due process, even in including um, a DSS report, security report, clearing justice equipment for that position. And the governor transmitted a letter to the State House of Assembly um, appointing justice um, equipment in that regard. Unfortunately, um, members of the Cross River State House of Assembly cited unfounded reasons um, um, hinging on um, security, being, uh, justice equipment being a security threat vis-a-vis um, -vis the fact that she's married to a Crossiverian. However, she's originally from a neighboring acquired home states. Um, this um, this um, situation um, led to the governor appointing Justice Maurice Energy as in acting capacity on, I think, on the, on the 3rd of March um, um, 2020. He has acted for the first three months and also based on the approval on the NGC, again, he acted for another three months. Via constitutional provision, he can no longer act. And so as we speak today, there is a vacuum in Cross River State. There is a constitutional crisis, if you will, we will say, in Cross River State, because the office of the chief judge of Cross River State is vacant, and members of the State House of Assembly have refused to resign the decision of letting the appointment of Justice Equipment fly, which is unfortunate, I must say, and um, the governor has not yet taken an action. And so we are awaiting the governor to take the right and due action, which is simple, go ahead to ensure that Justice Ikweme resumes as the chief judge of Cross River State. In a view, that is the situation we have in Cross River State. There mm -hmm. seems to be a vacuum, or there is a vacuum in the, in the, in the judiciary. And um, you know, the, the, this is a democracy. It is risky and justice will be in jeopardy if the as to which the head of the judiciary is not determined on time and is left vacant. So what do you make of this findings or allegation by the State House of Assembly that Justice Ipeme is a security risk? And what are the possible factors giving rise to such findings? It is simple. The, the, the state of uh, these, these, these allegations are unfounded. Let me tell you, one of the process or the procedure in which the NJC undertakes in appointing or nominating or recommending rather a person to become a chief judge of a state or even a judge of, um, of, of any court in Nigeria is that the DSS goes through, the person goes through a rigorous screening process by the Department of State Services. Justice Ikbeme went through that process and came out a blemish. And so the, the members of the House of Cross River State Assembly have not told us the basis for their reasons. But of course, they have also stated a plenary where certain members spoke that she is from neighboring Cross River State. This is um, unjust, it is, discrimin it is discriminatory, it is barbaric, it is in tandem with the spirit of the 21st century which strives on innovation, whereby where you come from does not matter anymore, it is rather what you have to offer, that is what society is looking for all over the world. So the, 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 the only reason that the very parochial, I must say, that the members of the Cross River State House of Assembly have found um, germane in their reasoning to, 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 to peg is that she is from neighboring Aquaibom State. But mind you, this woman was a, a civil servant in Cross River State, 
went through the ranks, went through several appointive positions and became a judge. And it is um, at the point of her acting, um, or rather becoming a substantive chief justice, suddenly she has become a security. As like I said, it is barbaric. It is repugnant to natural justice, equity, and good conscience. It should not be tolerated by perseverance because it is an embarrassment to the average perseverance that in the 21st century, we would be this backward in our reasoning and thinking. And uh, how is this linked to the newly inaugurated magistrates that have been owed salaries for 19 months? Oh, this is, this is very beautiful. I, I love this question. Now, this is, this is another leg. This, this is a very complex and intricate matter. While Justice Michael Edem was still in office, of course, he refused to heed to the, to, the, um, to, the, to the call of the governor for this illegality to take place. It was obvious. Let me tell you what happened. Impress to his office was held, was held on to at some point by the governor. At some point, he was being not paid up to the, 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 the agreed impress to run that office. He went through very gross sometimes before he left office because, of course, he wanted to maintain his integrity, which I commend him on. While Justice Michael Ledem um, 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 was, 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 was chief judge of Cross River State, the State Judicial Service Commission recruited 42, 46, I mean to say, magistrates. Some were chief magistrates, you know, into the, into the, into, into, into the judiciary. Now, um, the governor unfortunately felt that he wasn't carried along in the process, and he had refused to pay the salaries of these 46 magistrates in the past 19 months. I want the whole world to hear me that justice delivery in Cross River State is in jeopardy as we speak today because magistrates are being taken to the same court where they sit on house rent issues. They can no longer pay their rent. Magistrates cannot feed their families. Magistrates cannot pay bills anymore. So justice delivery is in, is in jeopardy in Cross River State because the governor has decided to play politics with a matter which is purely legal. I want to say that the, 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 the issue as to the appointment of who becomes a chief judge of the state is not a political matter. The governor started playing this politics while Michael, um, Justice, Justice Michael Edem retired, was in office. And of course, he's a man of integrity, which he refused to heed. And so he, every, everything that came through that process, the governor is... Well, it's just a vendetta. 19 months magistrates in Cross River states who were employed and inaugurated on the 3rd of February 2019 have not been paid for 19 months. If the governor is getting back to those whom he feels are against his intentions of making um, justice. Um, I don't want to predict, you know, but apparently the, the, right, the handwriting is clear. Justice Morrison, A.J. Substantive Chief Judge, just as against the norm and the process um, of having Justice Kmeme resume her office, which she duly deserves. All right, so um, SAN, uh, Mark Mba Ukweni now joins us. Thank you for joining the conversation on The Breakfast this morning. Thank you so for having been, me. Okay, we've been and talking how are you a bit doing? about... I'm great, thank you. So we've been talking a bit about the situation in Cross River, the state of the judiciary, and the issue with the uh, nomination and appointment of a new chief judge, and of course the issue of uh, uh, the... Oh, the fact that they've not paid uh, magistrate salaries for a long time now. So we would like to find out your thoughts on this. The governor has cited paucity of funds and insufficiency of uh, federal allocation as the basis for Hello? the delay and non-payment of salaries. So do you think that's a good reason why magistrates have been owed salaries for 19 months now? Sorry, I did not get your last uh, statement. I'm saying that magistrates have been owed salaries for 19 months in Cross River State. And the governor yeah. is saying that the reason why is that there's paucity of funds, you know, there's uh, insufficiency of federal allocation. And that that's why magistrates have not been paid. So do you think that's enough reason why they've not been paid for 19 months? That cannot be the reason. But the governor, the governor is doing some useless projects that have no relevance to people. What do we do with cargo air, 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 airline? What do we do with um, spaghetti flyover that he has been doing for a number of years now? They are still using um, using shovel and a head pan to, 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 to dig the ground along uh, at Otokwani. What do we do with non-functional projects? Like, um, what do you call them? Deep sea port and, um, and a super highway. When people who are working, productive people that are working and should earn their... They are, they are due. Their salaries and allowances are not, are not being paid. Uh, but he is moving around the entire country and using our money to do politics. Drive people all over the places. 
All right. So, so those ones are, are more valuable. Those ones are more valuable projects than paying people who are working in the in the civil and public service of Crossover State. That is cannot be the reason. It cannot be the reason. If it is the reason, why will he appoint over a thousand commissioners and and and, and aides if there is paucity of funds? Crossover State is the only state that has over. Over 200 and something commissioners, we don't know the numbers as I'm talking to you, and then the number of SAs and PAs, we do not know. Hmm. There is hardly a week that a list do not come out for, a, for appointments. So that, that is not an indication of a government that is complaining of paucity of form. To my mind. So would you to say. To my this, mind. Okay. An idea to. to yes. Would yes. you say this is it, an it issue is, of it priority is just then? A, a clear intention of the. Uh, you are saying something? No, go ahead. Go ahead, please. Hello? Can you hear me? Say, to, to, to my mind, it is just a clear intention of the governor to, 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 to deal with cross variance the way he is dealing with us. And I had asked the question in an interview before. I said, is there anything wrong with voting Governor Ben Ayade to become a governor of Cross River State? Is there any wrong cross variance have done to him? If there is, he should tell cross variance. So that if there are those, we can go and beg him. We will go and beg him and carry drinks. That is the tradition. That's what our people do. What about those in the judiciary? In, 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 what about those in the Ministry of Justice who have been employed for several months but have not been... So, so, so it, it cannot be because of paucity of funds that he... He says he doesn't want to pay them. He has his reasons why he doesn't want to pay them. Obviously, because he Points. feels that uh, the people he wanted to appoint are not the people that were appointed. Hmm. So you touched on two points I would like you to elaborate on. You first mentioned that uh, there are other businesses he's been doing and that uh, there is no paucity of funds. So are you saying now that it's an issue of priority, that maybe the judiciary and their welfare is not being prioritized in the state, or that the fact that they've not been paid is intentional? Is that, is that what you're saying? prioritized nothing else than his person. Anything that is personal to him has a priority. Is there anything that is functioning in Cross River State? I said governance in Cross River State has collapsed. When I said so, some people reacted. The Commissioner for Information said, I, I, I'm senile. But it is obvious that the governance in Cross River State has collapsed. If you go to the governor's office now, which should be the hub of activities, nothing is going on there. There is no ministry that is functioning. And he has extended them to the judiciary. The only arm of government that has, has been functioning. And that is our anger, that you can't extend it to the judiciary. That is our own farm. You can do whatever you want to do with politics in other areas. But as it regards the judiciary, leave us alone. This is a professionally oriented arm of government. It doesn't, it don't, it doesn't tolerate that level of political interference. Must he appoint his crony as, as, as a chief judge who is not within the line of being appointed solely because he wants to pocket the judiciary and command the judges to do whatever he wants, he wants them to do? That is not how justice is dispensed. And we cannot tolerate that. We will not allow that to stand. And God will be with us. Okay, God so will not allow him to, 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 to do what he, 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 is do, he wants to do with the judiciary. And uh, the tenure of the acting chief judge ended midnight on the 3rd of September 2020. Do you think there is a constitutional crisis there? And uh, there, what are there the possible is. solutions? There is an obvious constitutional crisis because as it stands now, Cross River State do not have a chief judge. And the constitution says there should be a high court of Cross River State, a high court of a state, and the high court shall be a chief judge of the, of the court, and, so, 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 and, and a certain number of judges. So for two days running now, Cross River State has no chief judge. There is no administrative head to head the judiciary of Cross River State. There is a constitutional crisis. So what do you think is the solution? The solution is for the person recommended by the National Judicial Council, who is the proper person to be appointed the, the, the chief judge of the state. Honorable Justice Akunik Bime is the person properly nominated, okay. properly recommended.
to be appointed chief judge of Cross River State. All right, how they should about do the needful and Adelia? go and have her sworn in as the chief judge of Cross River State. All right. So, so do you do you agree? What do you think is the solution to that? Uh, yes, definitely. That, for you. Yes, that is the, that is the only solution. That is the only direction. That is the only way. We do not have options in this regard. Cross River State Governor Ben Ayade, whosoever is involved, do not have an option. It is to ensure that Justice Akonik Meme resumes office as the Chief Judge of Cross River State to avoid this crisis. Thank Let you. me make a very fundamental point We're for a second. We're actually running out of time now. Your thoughts are noted. Thank you very much, Bernard Aniga, public interest lawyer, and of course, uh, SCN Mbao Krini. Thanks for joining us on The Breakfast. Thank you. Thank you so much.